welcome back to another um, lockdown video for this week over the years oh by the way how did it go with the stick exercises i hope i'm going to see some videos of you challenging the family in the house or some friends on facebook let's see if we can turn that into another social media challenge just don't try and balance an egg on the top of the stick though anyway so over the years i've seen folks uh, and through training I've seen folks getting on and off bikes uh, quite easily and I've seen some folks as well on the opposite side of the fence where they make it really difficult for themselves without really realizing that there is an easier way of getting on and off a motorcycle. Number one though is that when they get off the bike and some people would turn the handlebar and lock the steering, rightly so. Um, try and keep your bike as, as safe as possible. Other folks would leave their bike handlebar straight and some folks will turn the handlebar in the opposite direction. By doing that you put more weight on the, on, the, on, the, on the side stand but nothing wrong with parking the bike like this or like this or like that. Now what I've seen is when people get back to their bikes you have to treat this the same way you would treat a normal door of a car or of your house. So if you come back to your bike and you turn the ignition back on and unlock your steering, before you get on your bike, make sure that you open the door first. By not opening the door when you mount up, in other words, you want to get your bike up like this. Number one, the angle, the angle of your left wrist is so close to your body and it's at a very awkward angle to be able to control the bike. Not that you want to control when the bike is stationary, but there is some way of control. And this is very awkward. And furthermore, reaching for the opposite grip is quite a stretch for you to get to the opposite. So you standing like this, and you're almost putting yourself over the chank and looking down. It almost looks like you're stealing the bike. So without looking like a thief, when you get to your bike, make it easy for yourself open the handlebar or go all the way that way if you like that way your wrist now becomes straight into the grip it's not an angle like this anymore and the grip on the far side of the handlebar has actually got closer to you now allowing you to bend your elbow to be able to maneuver the the, the, the handlebar much better so try that a couple of times lock the handlebar in and go for the grips and see how awkward that is and then before you next one is to make the handlebar straight and see how normal it actually is by holding the grips then or even in the opposite direction fully open the handlebar for you to get up on the bike so the same way in the car you would open the door first unless you have a convertible and jump over the door but you will open the door first before you get in and a bike is very much the same first open the door and then get in or get on in this case so try that a few times now getting on the bike is a different story. This is a DP bike and it's got grab rails on the back and uh, a few times I've seen guys when they get on the bike with these type of rails and uh, they're not 20 or 30 anymore you're knocking on 50 60 or even 40 plus and uh, you don't get your leg high enough and you knock your shin against that and I'm sure there are a few people that would agree with me that that's happened to them or you even have luggage you have a pannier on the side of the bike and uh, you're trying to swing your leg over and you kick your leg against the, the pannier or your shin against this uh, grab rail on the back there's an easier way for those who can't get the leg up anymore there's an easier way no it will not break the side stand because you're not going to stand there and jump on your foot peg while you're mounting up it's going to be a swift quick mount on on the bike and the same way with dismounting so if you battle to get the leg over simple simple way get your your left foot onto the foot peg like you're mounting and remember the door must be open so in other words you you grab your grips get yourself a, a, a start against the bike as possible and when you do stand remember now you're putting weight on the inside of the bike on the left side of the bike you need to balance that out so you need to counterbalance and you need to put some of your weight over the tank on that side so that, because if you otherwise you'll be hanging on the handlebar you could very well flip the bike over on top of yourself so when you do this make sure the handlebar stuck grab your front brake or make sure the bike is in first gear you don't want this bike to move while you're doing this all right so grab the front brake or make sure your bike is in first gear up for holding the front brake it's more reliable and you get up and don't look down you're not stealing the bike 
you are proud of what you're riding so look up before you mount then you put some weight over the tank and swing your leg over put your right foot on the other foot peg and go sit down and then bring the bike up as simple as that dismounting the same story this is where i've seen a lot of people doing it wrong is they first close the door then put the bike on the side stand and then try and dismount now you have a handlebar poking in the ribs a mirror right here in the way so same story like you do in a car you open the door first in other words on the bike open the door first whether it is straight or in the opposite direction you keep the door open side stand out make sure it settles down quite nicely otherwise if it moves while dismounting that little movement there will give you half a heart attack it's done with me a couple of times so and would, now again when you stand up don't just stand up because the bike is leaned over stand up a little bit over your tank lean over like this look up don't look down and then step off the bike make sure the bike is firmly on the side stand and then close the you see that movement don't worry it's there make sure the bike is firmly on the side stand then close the door and lock your steering if you have to but guys don't try this a couple of times go make it easy for yourself i've helped a few people where he see, says that he's battling to get on off the bike simple as that not like this this is very awkward door open grab the front brake on the side stand on the foot peg lean slightly over your tank mount up look up don't look down and then sit and bring your bike up easy as that side stand out for dismount make sure it settles in nicely hold the brake again both feet on the foot pegs stand up and lean a little bit to that side but don't push on the foot peg you don't want the bike to flip over it's just lean your body over but keep the weight on the left leg swing your leg over step down check your back bike is nice and sturdy and then turn the handlebar and lock the steering go give this a try it works with almost any bike sport bikes uh, adventure bikes any type of bike it really works uh, this way so if you battle with leg over or you've got luggage and you keep on kicking that luggage or even kick that fancy painted luggage from from a nice touring bike and your boot or your bo the buckle on your boot uh, strips the paint off or the clear coat off that pannier uh, try this first and you'll see uh, how, how it really would help you uh, getting up and over without dislocating your leg or anything like that Thanks for watching again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for another one.